Welcome back to another step-by-step -step Monday makeup lesson. In each one of these videos, we cover a new topic in this tutorial, but you can check out the full playlist by clicking up here or checking out the description box. And if you're new here, make sure to press subscribe. And now let's get started with the next step. So prepping your skin can make a massive difference. And if you don't prep your skin, it usually ends up getting a little patchy, uneven by the end of the day. If you're one of those people, then these are the tricks that I would highly recommend trying out. If you prep incorrectly, it can be actually worse than not doing it at all. So you wanna make sure that you're following these steps exactly in order to make sure that your makeup is gonna last longer and look super even, even as it fades. 24 hours, your makeup's still gonna look pretty good. So the very first step is to make sure that your skin is clean and fresh. The fresher your skin is, the better the makeup's gonna go on. But you wanna make sure that your skin isn't hot. So say I've just washed my face right now and it was with hot water. You see my cheeks are a little red. This can actually make the makeup melt because as it goes onto the skin, it's gonna go on really hot. And then as your skin gradually cools down, it's gonna end up mixing and melting, which we don't want. So if you plan on washing your face or taking a shower, make sure you allocate enough time between your applications. You really want to make sure the skin has time to cool down before you go in with any products at all. Now say if you're taking a shower in the morning but it's a few hours later or you're going out in the evening time and it's been a while since you've washed your face, I would recommend doing a little bit of a quick tone. I'm using the word tone because you can use your toner but bear in mind the toner you use can make a massive difference. For instance, if you're using a toner in the evening time that has peeling chemical in it, which I absolutely love at night, but before applying makeup it's a big no-no. You want to avoid anything that strips the skin or dries the skin. We are not at the stage of teaching the skin anything. We're not trying to get it to do anything. We just want it to be nice and smooth and ready for makeup. So the best way to do that is to use a very mild toner or even just micellar water. But I'm gonna take a cleansing wipe and just run this over the skin. Next up, we're going to moisturize. Now, moisturization really helps the makeup last. It's gonna give it something to hold on to. So no matter what type of skin type you have or what type of makeup you're using, make sure to moisturize. Now, I use two different types of moisturizers depending on when I'm doing my makeup. So in the morning time, I will use a moisturizer that has a built-in SPF, which a lot of people ask me about. Where does my SPF fit into my routine? I use an SPF that is a moisturizer. So it kind of doubles up as the same thing. And if you're worried about SPF, you can also buy sprays that you can spray over the top of your makeup, which throughout the day can actually still protect your skin. In the evening time then, I will just use a moisturizer that doesn't have any SPF in it. And this is for a couple of different reasons. One, I don't really need SPF because it's the evening time. And two, if I'm planning on taking any pictures, I really don't want that flashback. And there's a couple of tricks to applying your moisturizer. You want to make sure it's as even as possible, but you can focus on any areas that tend to be a little drier. So I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks my chin, my forehead, and then I apply a lot on my nose because my nose gets really dry. Now I tend not to apply my moisturizer right underneath my eyes because it's a little heavy for the delicate skin area. I want you guys to take your ring finger and just run it underneath those eyes and then do the same on your cheeks. And can you feel that difference? Because the skin underneath there is so delicate and so thin. So make sure to be extra careful with it. So I actually use a little eye cream. It's not the same eye cream that I use at night because this is more of a daytime moisturizer. It has these little rollers on here that roll underneath the eyes and brighten. So this can reduce any swelling in there as well as improve circulation and help with any darkness. Another thing that I like to prep with is a balm. So if I have any little dry patches on my skin, maybe you have some old blemishes that are kind of not moving, or you have any dryness around the nose area from a cold, or maybe a little bit of sunburn even, this is great for just applying on those areas to help soften the skin. And this will then give your makeup something to hold on to as well. You can also then use this on your lips, which I don't like to neglect. Moisturized skin is plumper, healthier, and will glow. So any part of your skin that is showing, moisturize it. Not just your face, everywhere. And that's the step complete, but make sure to check back next Monday for the next step. But as always, I am here to help. So if you have any problems with this, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Before you go, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.